Useless Comics Podcast. I'm here with uh, Frank Martin, and uh, I think I'm back to talk about his uh, newest book. Um, what is it, Frank?
just uh, I'm glad I'll be finished up with uh, Justice League Unlimited soon then. Yeah, uh, let's see, here's a question you can answer for me from one writer to another. Um, how, how do you handle writer's block if you ever get it? I'm actually going through a pretty bad writer's block right now where I can come up with short ideas and I can only write maybe one, two, two or three sentences at a time and then I have to stop. Everybody has their own kind of little chores. You know, it's kind of like a hangover chore. Everybody's got their own little uh, idea of what's going to do it, but nothing really the full proof is an answer. But for me personally, uh, I get a lot of ideas.
apologize for the for the misfire of the last time we tried to do this? I it was the week it was like the, the like the week right after New York Comic Con and my brain was just fried. Comic-Con um, is the one convention of the year that just fries my brain. <laughs> and then I got sick like the Monday afterwards, and I was like, wait a minute. And then when you emailed me, when you sent me that message, I got crap, that's what I forgot. And I felt so bad. When you, when you know you're getting something, but you can't remember what it is. Yep. So the the pestilence anthology. What um, yeah, that's in volume three. Uh, how how did volume two? How how was the response to that? are such a hard sell, so... Spider-Man book. Yeah, 
Even in the last two issues of that, those, those are the two titles I thought that were the best. But then again, I like Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, so... Um. <laughs> So, uh, you said, I know you're a big fan of the Vision book, and you said, see that going to the wayside? And I have not. Um, I think, it's just that they have been in its own little pocket, um, pocket world as far as the story goes. Uh, Tom King has had a, a direct, uh, vision, no pun intended, for, from beginning to end, as to where it's going to go, and it has to tie it to Civil War zone, uh, and all it's kind of been doing its own thing. Same here. Uh, I'm sad to see it go, but I, I did like, at all Mar of Marvel's BS little marketing gimmicks, I did like Champions number one. Have you had that come out yet? Yeah, it has. I had, I had enjoyed it. I kind of was interested in it, but I did not pick it up, so I didn't. How uh, was it? It was awesome. I actually liked, I liked the team, and I liked the way they present the team getting together. And like I said, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Kamala Khan. I'm a big fan of Miles Morales. Um, I'm a fan of Nova, and I'm warming up to Amadeus Cho. <laughs> you know, I, I still don't like the fact that you know Marvel had it. You know, thought it was time to do do stupid stuff to Bruce Banner. I'm actually enjoying reading Rebirth a lot more than anything at Marvel right now. I've been a fan of Justice. My the two best books of Rebirth are Action Comics and Superbad. The best the book has been in almost 25 years. <laughs> you know, uh, and I'm also reading a lot of uh, Image and stuff uh, recently too. I'm So, where, where do you see the industry going in the next couple of years? Something I've been thinking about, you know, recently in this, um, everything gets optioned era of comic book history. I'm sorry? Where do you see the industry going in the next couple of years? As far as, um, mainstream comics or any comics? Ah, uh, both. Both?
doing good. Sleeping right now. Crazy as ever. That's true. Um, they still think they're Batman? Yeah, well, that's what we're doing for, for Halloween. It's actually, I got my little one, Nightwing. Nice. And, uh, I'm, I'm glad that he's Nightwing. Cause everybody, oh, every kid wants to be Batman, but I, I want to get to see the whole, the whole comic spectrum in there. So he likes Nightwing. And uh, he likes the idea that Nightwing gets to be Robin and grow up and became his own hero. Sweet. Stop recording video.